Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here for a favourites video. <laughs> Look at this one. So today I'm doing um, a my current favourites, literally products that I've been using every single day lately and stuff that I've absolutely been loving and I think you guys should check out because they're just so good. But first of all, I want to mention this little bubble right here. Isn't she the cutest thing ever? I'm gonna miss her so much. Basically, this is my brother's friend's dog. And we're just keeping her for a while so that when she's actually going back to Hong Kong to go see her family because they moved there, so they do need someone in between to kind of look after her. Ugh, always licks my mouth. And she's like a little pup. She's so tiny, literally. She's like, oh, look at her. Mallow! Look here, look at it, show your little face. <laughs> I'm gonna miss her, I know that she's gonna leave soon and I'm making me so sad. She's the cutest, she follows me everywhere. Her name is Mallow, because she literally looks like a marshmallow. Anyways, let's her, let her, I'm gonna let her go play now, because she likes to play. Okay, so I'm first going to talk about hair stuff first. And it's basically all from the same range. Basically this range right here. So this is by Palmer's Cocoa Oil Formula. This is their Cocoa Oil Formula range with vitamin E. So I've got the Strong Root Spray, which I've used a lot of. I also have the Leave-In Conditioner. And I've also got the shampoo, which I need to get some more of because literally it's all the way down there. I literally use this every time I wash my hair all three of them, I spray the root the root spray in my roots, obviously. It kind of gives a gritty feel, but I feel like it moisturises my, my scalp a lot without leaving it oily. And the leave-in conditioner spray has literally fixed my ends so good. Like, there's still split ends, but normally, like, my, my ends were so, like, stiff. They would just stick out like straw, but now they have, like, a bit of flimsiness to it, so... It's a, it feels, my hair feels so much more healthier. This is my favourite, the leave-in conditioner. I actually found this from my brother. My brother's obsessed with hair products and he actually bought this. And I tried some of it and I was like, oh, this is good. So I bought like literally everything from the range and I love every single thing. The shampoo's really nice. I don't need to like put conditioner in the shower and brush through my hair. My hair's not too knotty after I use this shampoo. And then once I put the leave-in conditioner while it's damp, it kind of helps to like take the knots out. And this is really good. I feel like if you have like lots of dry bits on your scalp, definitely try this. It's really good. I definitely recommend all these. They're affordable and I think they're one free for two. So I've got free things. My hair has felt so much more different since I've used all these products especially the leave-in conditions make, made my roots my ends I mean feel so so nice been loving these I would recommend it to anyone who's suffering from like dry frizzy dull hair basically now onto a skincare product this might look really dirty because I've obviously been using it this is the vanity planet ultimate skin spa and I did use this in my skincare video, so if you want to see it in action, I'll link it in the info box. But seriously, my most favourite one that I have been using is the is the silicone brush head that looks like this. It, it literally feels like you're massaging your face, and it's not too harsh. I don't use the exfoliating as one as much, but it's really good. Like I would use it like every once every two weeks because I don't want to do too much of it. My most favourite part is not only the product itself, but like you can literally just store everything properly and leave it on your counter on, in your bathroom just like that so this is normally like over a hundred dollars but if you use my code uh, which i'll leave in the info box for you guys you can get it for like thirty dollars which is a bargain that's why i really love it as well i know you guys like affordable stuff and this is a huge discount so if you guys want to check it out i've been literally using this every day to wash my face i use mostly the silicone one because it's just it feels amazing on the skin like i love it so much it's like it's like one of the things I look forward to when I wash my face because it just literally feels like you're massaging your face and I've got like jaw problems like I can't open I got that clicking problem with my jaw and sometimes I got I get a lot of tension in my jaw because I grind my teeth and I feel like it really like soothes my jaw area and I just really love it it's so weird but and it cleans your face as well but yeah I've been loving this the next other random thing that I've been loving are kind of I would say statement pieces glasses i would say you can barely see them but yeah these kind of glasses that everyone's been wearing and i have been obsessed i bought the normal ray-ban 
aviator style ones and i bought the classic round ones i love round glasses for some reason um these were like four pounds and three pounds on ebay but i'll link them in the info box but seriously like i wear them like this like when i went for my exams and i didn't have makeup on i literally just went to uni with these on and i feel like they're super flattering i don't know i just really like it and then sometimes a lot of the times i just wear it like on the top of my head like this let me try oh. I really like the round ones. I I feel like it gives a retro vintage vibe. But literally I've been loving these. Wear them like this. A lot of the times I just wear it like this because I think it's so nice just to wear like glasses like this. Next up is this brush that I got recently. I bought this on Amazon and it was like two pounds or something. It took a month for it to come but it's so worth it. Like I apply my highlighter with this. And I believe it's a dupe for the, like, an imitation of the NARS brushes. Um, but it feels really sturdy. I do, I did buy many, like, Amazon brushes, brush sets, so that video will be up very soon. But this, I've been loving. I can't believe I paid £2 for it. Like, what's the point of paying £30 for a brush if you can just get the same damn thing for £2? This works fine for me. It applies my highlighter really nicely. It doesn't feel rough. It actually feels very soft. If you look closely, there's this weird band here. So I don't know how that's going to react to water. So I would definitely not have to get it here. I would literally have to stop the water right there. But I really, really like it. You guys don't even know how much of a pain it's filming with this camera because it's broken. And I don't really want to send it off because I don't want to use my other camera. But I think I might have to because it's such a hassle for focus and defocus. And it's just being so annoying. <sighs> Anyways, I would recommend this to anyone. I will link it in the info box for you guys if you want to check it out. It's so affordable and I definitely recommend it. The next thing I've been wearing a lot lately is the Body Shop Skin Defense. This is what it looks like and I got this with the 40% student discount code that you get off student beans. I've been obsessed with my SPF lately and this is SPF 50. I got it for like £9 instead of 16 So if you're a student, make sure to go on student beans and get a discount code because we're all about saving that monies. And yeah, it was really affordable. I love it. It works really nicely. I wear it under all my moisturisers if I'm going out. And, and you would need this in summer, winter, any time. Like, you just always need SPF. It's really important, guys. Wear your SPF. Now, on to makeup bits. Um, I'm literally, I've been so obsessed with the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette in Golden Sands. I believe it's Golden Sands. Yeah, the Golden Sand Ed Edition. Two colours that I wear a lot is this and this. So pretty. I do have a video on this. If you want to see swatches, I'll link it as well. But seriously, it's so worth it, guys. I don't know what people are saying, like, it's so intense. If you don't want it intense, you can get a no, no, non-intense highlight out of this. The only thing is, this is quite intense, the, the cream. But if you blend it properly on top of your foundation, it will give you a nice, subtle highlight like that. Do you know what I mean? You can either have it intense or like that. Do you know what I mean? So you have that little glow or you have this. It's just the way you control how much product you're wearing. So yeah, I've been loving, loving, loving this. It's so pretty. The next thing that I've been super obsessed about is the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation. I wore this in yesterday's video for the haul video and so many of you said that my skin looks really nice, my makeup looks nice. And anytime I'm wearing this, to be honest, I, you guys are saying that my foundation looks nice and it's this one. This is in the shade bronze. I will have a review on it so I'm not going to talk much about it. But seriously, it's such a good foundation. If you want to grab it now, go ahead. It's literally so good. So good. I can tell you that smile lines are minimum. Minimal. Minimal. <laughs> Next up, what I've been loving and which is actually kind of new to me, but I've been using it every single day since I got it. It's the uh, Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in Medium Tan. So I was looking for a really good face powder for my face, like that's my skin colour. And seriously, I've been wearing this every day. Every I won't wear foundation without setting my face now. And I can't believe that I used to wear foundation without setting my face with powder. Like, this, all this area here shouldn't be shiny because... It literally makes you look like you have oil, like an oily face. And there's nothing wrong with that. I used to rock that face like all this, every time, like before I even got this. But I just felt like sometimes it would just be overboard and I looked really sweaty. And especially with the sun out, I look extra sweaty. Do you know what I mean? So 
I had to get this and it's so good. It makes your skin look flawless. This is it. I think this is it. I haven't been doing anything different apart from wearing powder and that foundation. But today I've got the Makeup Forever one. The Ultra HD stick. And it looks pretty good. No smile lines. I realise that I get less smile lines when I set my face with an actual face powder. And the shade is perfect for me. It gives. It make, actually makes your skin look so soft. And yeah, this is in the shade Medium Tan. And I've been literally in love with this brush. So if you guys watched my recent video where it was like another everyday look but using using new stuff, I was sent these brushes by Vanity Planet and I have been obsessed with this brush right here. Well, I literally just use it with this powder every time. So it just like presses it in really nicely. It's super sturdy. Um, it does come with a set. You can't get it individually. But the set is like $24. It's such a bargain. So I think it's so worth it. It's so worth it. I really like it. Um, again, if you use my discount code, you will get it for $24. Because I think, I believe it's like $80 if you don't use it. So, all the links will be in the info box if you guys are interested. I'll leave the prices and stuff. Um, but these two have been, have made such a... Not this one as much, but I just love to apply my powder with this. Um, but this powder has literally changed my makeup game so much. The next thing that I've been loving so, so much is the Topshop Bronzer. I'm wearing it today and I literally have been wearing it every single day and the packaging is so nice. I'm in shade Salute. I believe there's a darker colour but it's just such a good bronzer. It's not too warm and it's not too cool. It's like that perfect balance. Can you guys see? It's not like a, it's not like my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep where that's like orange but I still like it. Um, this is that perfect balance between the two and I really recommend it. It's so, so good. You guys can see I've been using it, like the Topshop logo is kind of going away. But I've been wearing this every day. This is another thing, like literally I've been wearing every single damn day. And it's the um, Primark blusher in Muscovado. It's the perfect blusher I'm wearing today. I only put a little bit, but it gives a nice coral kind of colour to the cheeks. And I feel like it brings colour back to my skin, you know. It just... It just looks really nice, it blends like a dream. I've used it every day and it literally looks like I haven't even touched it, to be honest with you, but seriously, I love it so much. It's just a really, really, really nice colour. It's not like your classic pink blusher, you know? And... And I can't forget to mention that this was like one fifty, one pound fifty. that's such a bargain. You need this in your collection if you want a good blusher. The, the next thing I've been absolutely loving is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in Girlfriend and Primark Lip Liner in Toffee. And I've been wearing these two together. I also like the LA Girl True Brown Lip Light Pencil. But this is like literally another version of it. And, it, and basically this is £1. And the Huda Beauty Girlfriend colour is by far my favourite colour out of all the colours I have from her. Um, it's what I'm wearing today and it's like my perfect nude. It's not too light. I I have to blend it with a lip liner, which I have done, but it really like brings the... It makes my lips look so plump because it's light in the centre and when it mixes with the lip liner, it's just so perfect, guys. I love it so much um, and I would recommend it. So It's so good. It's such a nice colour. I've also really been loving the Nip and Fab liquid lipstick in Cinnamon. Literally, it's in my bag right now. I can't bother to get it, but that's what I've been carrying around with me a lot as well, which I've been wearing so much. It's a really, really nice nude colour. Anyways, so that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favourites are currently in the comments below. I'd love to see what you guys have been loving. Also, leave me suggestions of what you want to see um, on my channel, like if there's any specific videos you want to watch. And yeah, I think that's it really. I'm literally so tired, guys. You don't even know. I still feel like I haven't had an actual break since my exam and I think that's what's kind of draining me but like literally filming is making me so happy so that's making up for it. <laughs> um, but yeah let me stop complaining like I always do and I will anyways give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it subscribe to my channel if you're new and I will see you next excuse me can I please have two I bought more ice cream can I have two packs two packs Give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I will see you 
I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. And I will see you all in my next video, which will be tomorrow. See you guys. Bye.